Hey guys and gals, got a new treat for you. It's gonna be a quick one. Um, it's gonna show you how to install practically any version of uh, an app on your iOS device. It can be a phone or a tablet. As long as the app is compatible with the version of iOS that you're operating on. And this illustration, I've got, um, I'm using a program called iTools 4. Put a link in the description below. It's an invaluable tool. It lets you back up apps and save them as IPA files on your computer, which then later you can roll back to if a newer version is something that you uh, just don't like or is not getting along with your device. For this example, we're going to uninstall. Uh, it's called DJI Go 4. It's a popular application for a DJI drone. And we'll take a look on my tablet here. I've got DJI Go right here. And we're going to uninstall it in the typical way that if you hold it down, long hold, and then you'll get your delete um, icon, the X in the corner. And at that point, you can just click or tap on it, click delete. Hold it down, long press. Get my little X in the corner. And touch delete. And it's removed it from my tablet. So what we're gonna do now is with this program iTools 4, we're gonna go into apps. And at this point, because we fired up iTools 4 before that DJI Go program may or may not be in this list. Okay, it looks like it's not in our list. This is all the programs that are installed on our tablet. You can refresh if you need to, if you've made any changes before entering into iTools. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple examples of uh, older app that's incompatible with my version of iOS. I'm on right now at 11.2.5. There's a couple of older versions up here, version 4.1.17 and 4.1.14, which I already know are incompatible with my um, iPad and iOS 11.2.5. But we're gonna go through that procedure by clicking install. And I'm gonna browse for one that's an older version go back to 4.1.14 and open and it's going to begin the installation process by uploading that IPA file, that installer file, to the iPad and you'll see your progress here. And by all circumstances where we deleted the other one, if this is successful to install, you'll see that new icon update the uh, iPad screen. So we're going to go through the install process. Because I've done this before, I know that these two versions are incompatible with the newer version of iOS and it will get an error. So you're not left guessing whether it was successful or not. Generally, if it's a successful installation, you'll notice that the install goes rather quickly, but you'll see it'll error out here in just a minute. Okay, it said API internal error just to indicate that this version 1.14 or 4.1.14 was incompatible with the newer version of iOS. So we're gonna go ahead, since it's selected, we're gonna delete it, although it wasn't installed, it's in our list of apps that we've installed. So I'm going to uninstall that, enter okay. I'll go ahead and fret, refresh. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a version that I'd like this one point or 4.1.18 and so I'm going to click install I'm going to browse to that one select it and it's going to do the same thing that we saw before where it begins to upload that IPA file and it'll upload it onto your tablet you'll need to be tethered obviously with your uh, lightning cable to a USB device so that this information this IPA, IPA installer can be sent to your computer. Great program. It does a lot more than just backup. You can also, copy any of your programs you've got off and save them as an IPA file, which is a really good thing because 
you know you may have a version that you prefer and if you get an update um, some features are not functioning the way you like or uh, misbehaving or you just prefer the older version as long as you go in and make backups of each of the IPA files then you can go back anytime and change versions so we're looking at about 99% done we'll take a look here and there we go we see that it just installed the DJI Go 4 app and if I refresh here you can see we're at version 4.1.18 just like what we chose now if I wanted to this is the most recent version 4.2.4 same procedure I can select in a checkbox here uninstall it enter OK it's going to remove that from my iPad also completely removed so we'll go ahead for this example again and we're going to take and install the 4.2.4 .4 by clicking install searching for it 4.2.4 .4, click open and it's going to install that same procedure I know that I've got 4.2.4 4.1.2 4.1.18 .4, are all compatible with the latest iOS 11.2.5. Now these would have been more suitable for an earlier version of iOS like 11.2 or a, a, any of the derivatives of the 10s, 10 iOS 10. We're about 50% here and once it's successful we're going to see it populate our iPads desktop or pad top still doing its uploading when we get done here I'll show you how to do a backup like I was talking about earlier it's very handy just to create a folder on your computer and as new versions come along just uh, go to the app store install them and then make a backup copy and just keep uh, several varieties of different revisions on your computer rather than be stuck with the one that you've got so it's just about done 99% 100% preparing and you'll see it show up on the iPad here shortly there we go I'll go ahead and open it just so you can see and there we go the latest most current ones now when you do make backups of these or install them fresh they do not retain any settings that you have or any tweaks that you've made to them these are just like an install for the first time from the App Store with the exception that if you already have an app installed where you've installed all of your settings or special tweaks that you may be accustomed to if you do install a new version a more recent version over one that's already installed through the program iTools 4 you will retain your settings it's just if you do not have it installed already and then you install it no settings will be retained from a previous installation So you can see it's fully functional. I'm not going to go in because I uh, just installed this. I'm not going to go in and, and enter in and log in and all that whatnot. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to go and show you how to make a backup of one of these. For example, I'll take, um, let me try to get a smaller one. It won't take so long to back up. Um, here's one, another drone related program. I'm going to put a check mark beside it. First, I'm going to make sure that I don't have any checks by anything else. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is click export. Save it to my desktop. You just need to pick the folder. Not, don't give it a name. It'll give the name for you. Select folder and it'll immediately begin to making a uh, backup of that installer file for that. And it'll show up on my desktop here. Looks like it's over here. Okay and it's version 2.0.5 so it automatically names those in a smart way that later on if you decided to roll back or move forward in uh, the hierarchy of uh, revisions that information is captured for you now to show you that it works what I'm going to do let me go to my tablet and I'm going to uninstall this down on my dock and so you saw I deleted that I'm going to refresh this so that it's not on my list it's not there anywhere 
And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install this one that we just made a backup of. So I'm gonna click install. Look for that Starlink app, 2.0.5. Click open and you'll see that it begins to immediately install that. Smart enough to read that version number, which is helpful. Preparing, and then you'll see on my tablet, it's appeared over here. So it's a pretty cool program, I highly recommend it. Remember, it's called iTunes 4, backup, recovery, restore, you can even do these screencasts where you can show your iPad's tablet on your computer to do screencasts. So, hope you enjoy it. Talk to you guys later.